Hi, I'm Rody for The Developer Show, and this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Starting with Angular, Signal inputs are now in developer preview. Signals provide a powerful reactivity model that enables you to efficiently monitor changes, derive values, while automatically notifying Angular when any specific part of your application needs to be re-rendered. Signal inputs can also improve your application by automatically marking on push components dirty, being more type safe, and can be derived and used in other signals. This can also be easily monitored when using effects. You can learn more on the Angular blog. Next, let's head over to Google AI. The Keras team is happy to announce that Gemma is now available in the Keras NLP collection. Thanks to Keras 3, Gemma runs on Jax, PyTorch, and TensorFlow. Keras is also introducing two new features, a new LoRa API, or low rank adaptation, and a large scale model parallel training capability. If you want to learn more, check out the Google for Developers blog. If you're a machine learning practitioner looking to reuse existing data sets to train ML models, you probably spend a lot of time understanding data, making sense of its organization, and figuring out which subsets to use as features. ML data sets cover a broad range of content types, including text and structured data to images and video. There are some general purpose metadata formats for data sets, but these are mostly designed for discovery. Today, we're introducing Coursant, which is a new metadata format ready for ML data sets. It was developed collaboratively by a community of industry and academia as part of the ML Commons effort. Starting off, it will support three popular collections of ML datasets, Kaggle, Hugging Face, and OpenML. To learn more about the 1.0 release of Croissant, check out the Google research blog. And finally, MediaPipe now supports two new generative AI tasks, including LLM inference and image generation. The LLM inference API supports Gemma 2B and can run on-device generative AI text-to-text -text generation. You can learn more about MediaPipe on developers.google.com. To learn more about all these week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm ready for the developer show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.